I'm going to explain step step and pulse function in Vinson. Here, I'm going to explain step and pulse functions in Vinson. So what they are for? Well, it's easier uh, for us to see the graphs regarding step function. It's like a step literally. So at some point of time, it goes up or goes down. So like here, uh, what about pulse function? Again, it's literally a pulse. So for a certain time period, it, it can be one or more. Uh, a variable, a variable, uh, the number will change, uh, going up or going down. Okay, so let's take a look at an example here. So uh, it, it's about a price dynamics. It's an in, in interaction between supply and demand, and then price will impact on quantity demanded and quantity supplied, and then given the ratio, it goes to a change. It leads to a change in price. Here, what we have for pulse and step function is external shock. So by adding external shock, we can shift demand curve here to the right or to the left and then for a certain time period. So let's let, take a look at the model. So here is the model, external shock. So let's change it. Well, before change, let's take a look at how it behaves. So it behaves, for example, price here. This way it goes to merge to converge to 10. Then, so let's change external shock here. So I put just zero here at this moment. So let's use step function first. Uh, you can select step function here or you can directly type. So first thing is about height. Height means how much you want to change the value of the variable here, external shock. Uh, let's say two. So add two to quantity demanded. And then S time means start, start time. So when do you want to start to make it happen. And let's say time 20. Okay. Then see how it goes. Then quantity demanded now is, as you can see this way, but before that, let's take a look at external shock, how it behaves. So the beginning it's zero, but at time 20, it goes up to two, right? And then so it will impact here, quantity demanded. So as I put here, plus external shock. Now, what about price here? So it goes up a bit because, it, so we have a stronger demand, right? So that it goes up. So then, so let's take a look at, uh, let's uh, try a pulse function then. So regarding pulse function. So again, you can pick pulse here or directly type here. So a bit different here, what to include in the parenthesis. Uh, pulse function, uh, first start is a start time. Let's yeah, do the same 20, time 20, it happens. The dura duration means how long it, it continues. And then, so let's say just one time period. And then, so how much uh, we want to change this value? Well, let's say two again, and then how can we uh, reflect that? So, so without any number, without any change, it gives just one, okay? So that's, let's say two. So multiplied by this uh, function, this function by two, and it gives two. So let's see how it changes the dynamics here. External shock first, as you can see, so it, it's a jump, it's a pulse, right? And then it, it, it's over at time period of 21. And what are quoting demanded? So it's a bit jump, right? So that uh, let's, see how price dynamics change. 
it's a bit small change that maybe it's difficult to see but as you can see here is a bit of a uh, jump here and it goes down to 10 again because well it's just a pulse and after that so the impact will be gone so how these pulse and step functions work then here are the calls for step function and pulse function. So what I have changed here is only here, step and pulse. Thank you.